Beds, mattresses and students' personal belongings went up in flames after a fire raised a dormitory at St. Benedict's Kwamtonga Secondary School early Wednesday. The school principal, Michael Thiba, assures students and parents that investigations into the incident have begun. The incidents occurred when the students were away and uh, none of the students was injured. The security agents have been investigated and the investigation is still continuing. Elsewhere, dozens of families have fled their ancestral homes in Indau location Kitui East in fear of attacks after armed camel herders allegedly invaded their farmlands. The families who now live as internally displaced persons in neighboring Kinai village fear further reprisal from the herdsmen invasion. <laughs> Meanwhile, a section of parents from Baringo whose children were discontinued from teachers training college early this month for not meeting the minimum entry grade to the P1 certificate course have petitioned the government to expedite refund of all fees paid. 3,265 trainee teachers were affected by the directive. Uliona watoto arpaina na sita waki shika pisentuku fiao waki tempea kwa mbaparabara waki usunika sana. And the county government of Busia has received an additional 100 million shillings grant from the Canadian government for upgrading infrastructure in the region. Busia Deputy Governor Moses Mulomi say that construction works are expected to kick off in June. This money is now uh, being looked at in terms of trying to improve part of the infrastructure in Busia. I think by June the, the, the design works will be complete and we hope that by the end of the year the works will have started. Still in Busia, traders at Lukolis Market in Teso South constituency Busia County have staged a demonstration protesting poor sanitation in the open-air market. The locals claim that drainage and sanitation remains poor, yet the county government subjects them to heavy taxes. Finally, Calls for justice dominated the burial of baby Ethan Jr. Mwendo at Sakini village in Moka in Makweni County. Seven-month-old Ethan, who is the son of KBC Machakos-based journalist Jonathan Mutiso Mwendo, died a week ago after being injected with an overdose of morphine at Shalom Community Hospital. Ethan, tunajua kupumzika kwako, kutaweza leta haki na usawa kwa jamii Hata kwa taifa letu la Kenya, mingumu kubali, kini tusha kubali. Opicho Jael for Channel 1 News.